Hi, and welcome to Angels Healthy Choices once again. My name is Angela Okwe, and I'm excited to have you here again with me today. On today's video, I want to talk about the areas that we need to be focusing on in our healthy lifestyle journey. The areas that we need to work on, the areas that we need to pay close attention to. And when we are succeeding in these areas, then we know that we are succeeding in our journey. And so I'll be talking about the swan. Yes, you'll be wondering what has the swan got to do with this? I know the kind of swan you're thinking about and um, that's not what I'm talking about. The swan I'm talking about today is a little acronym that I came up with to be able to discuss this subject properly and what it represents is sleep, water, activity and nutrition. Swan, S-W-A-N, sleep, water, activity and nutrition nutrition so i think these are the four major areas that anyone on a healthy lifestyle journey anyone that has decided to to live a healthy lifestyle need to be focusing on in order to achieve great success life we cannot do without sleep we are not machines we are not robots we're not created to run for 24 hours non-stop for one week for one month non-stop where we are human beings we are flesh and blood we get tired there are times where we are meant to be up and about and working and there are times where we are meant to slow down and relax rest and catch some sleep i believe that is why we have nights and day night is basically meant for rest everything comes to a stop everything just comes to a halt and it's like god is saying go home rest sleep <laughs> so we cannot overemphasize the importance of rest. sleep we should be getting around seven to nine hours of sleep that is a recommended range to sleep. Ask yourself this question. When you don't sleep, how do you feel? Or you don't get enough rest. You don't sleep up to six hours, for instance. Or you don't even sleep up to five or four hours. How do you feel in the morning? Take a second and drop a comment in the comment section. Let's know how you feel. I, for one, when I don't catch enough sleep, I wake up grumpy, I wake up unhappy. Sometimes I wake up with a headache when I don't get enough sleep. Sometimes my eyes are so heavy and itchy. You know, sometimes I, I, I'm just, you know, I'm not coordinated. So that tells you that not sleeping is not healthy. Not getting enough sleep is not good for your health. To lower blood pressure, it reduces our risk of obesity and uh, uh, weight gain, unnecessary weight gain. You will be rejuvenated. You will wake up in the morning feeling alert. Your system is all well and good. And you feel ready to take on the day's challenges so these are some of the importance of getting adequate sleep if you want to live a healthy life and you're not sleeping then you're not healthy so sleep plays a vital role let us know how much you're sleeping and how you feel when you get good sleep and how you feel when you're not sleeping very well in the comment section 
Next thing on that acronym is letter W and that stands for water. Consumption of water is also of utmost importance. For me, I have learned that waking up in the morning and drinking a glass of water is healthy and it's good for our system. And so I have adopted that principle. I wake up every morning, I take a glass of water and I'm here to advise you to also try and do this. When you drink a lot of water, what happens? You are hydrated. If you were dehydrated, you become rehydrated. Water will help to flush out um, toxins from the body. Water also helps with the blood pressure. Water helps with giving you clear skin. Water helps in a lot of ways in our bodies. So let us try as much as possible to be drinking water. We want a good digestive system. We need to be drinking water because water will reduce constipation. It will make us have regular bowel movements. So many beautiful benefits of drinking water. So, as we say we're living a healthy life, we should be drinking a lot of water. We should try as much as possible to get enough sleep. And then the next thing says activity. Activity in the sense of exercise, physical activity. We have to be active. We have to be active. Stay active. Move as much as possible. Make out time to exercise. Make out time to take a walk. Stand for some time if you have to. Walk around. And um, we shouldn't become the couch potato as they call it. We should try as much as we can to be active. I've said in a previous video that we should be able to exercise at least three times a week. And I said that the recommendation is if you're exercising vigorously, you can do that for 75 minutes for the whole week, not a day. If you're doing vigorous exercise, you now spread it for the whole week. 75 minutes for the whole week. That is fantastic. That's like less than 20 minutes a day. And then if you're doing the moderate exercise, then we can now have 150 minutes for the whole week. That gives us like 30 minutes more or less for at least five days a week. So exercise is good for our health, good for our heart, good for our bones. It's good for our overall well-being. We need to stay active, we need to drink water, we need to sleep and the other area, the last, the fourth and the last area that I want to talk about is the area of nutrition. Nutrition is like, I don't want to say it's the most important, but it plays a very big role in our health. They say we are what we eat. Literally, we are what we eat. It is what goes into you. What you put into your body that determines, first of all, growth, your development. It is the, the, the food we eat is like, is like the fuel that you put in your car. The food we eat is like what you're giving to your body to function with. So imagine you're feeding your body with rubbish. You're feeding your body with toxic things. What is it going to do for you? It's only going to 
produce more toxins for you. So we are what we eat. Let us endeavor to eat well, to eat properly. And how do you know that you're eating properly? You know that you're eating properly when you start eating a lot of fruits, vegetables, grains, whole grains, not refined grains. You start to eat legumes, you know, natural foods. Most chronic diseases are caused by food-related issues. So we need to pay attention to what we are eating. Make necessary changes and make wise decisions concerning our food. I hope you have found something of value in this video. As a way of recap, we talked about sleep, the importance of sleep. You need to sleep. You need to drink lots of water. You need to be active. And then we need to pay close attention to what we are eating. Make wise decisions concerning our diet. And I'm here to encourage you to also look at what you're doing. Look at these areas that we have talked about, these areas that we have looked at. And then make changes in the areas that you need to make changes. And it is my hope that we will all succeed and thrive and live healthy and happy long lives in good health. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment in, this, in the comment section. Let me know how this video has been of value to you and in what area. Thank you for watching and Please subscribe to Angels Healthy Choices. See you on the next one. Bye for now.